Hey guys, Tundra Plays here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are reviewing the Indoraptor. I got him today at B&M. He was about £22 and something P. Uh, I'm downstairs for this review because I just saw a great looking background kind of thing. This is just the living room wall and then just a random table. So, let's look at the box. So, we have... Oh, <laughs> the Jurassic World logo, the Endoraptor inside, it needs to uh, focus please, and then it says at the bottom here, Endoraptor with uh, blue and Owen at the bottom, and it says superposable in English and two other languages. Uh, in the box, the Indoraptor, you can just move its head and its arms, and then the uh, tail comes separately. Well, not separately, but it's like detached from him. And the floor is just like black plastic, really. And then, one second, just some annoying green funding screen uh, scheme thingy on there. So, so this one is different, very very different, because uh, this one's blue with, uh, well I mean the package is like blue with rain in the background. Wait, let me quickly go get my other boxes. Okay, I'm back. Um, here's some of the other boxes. So they're like orange with the volcano in the background and some trees. But this one's blue. So if you haven't seen my other videos, there's Velociraptor Blue. And there was the Steam Warlock as well. And I have those two uh, right here. There's a Stiggy. <laughs> yep. And there's Blue. <laughs> Dog. So, um, yeah, now let's look at the back. So it has a picture of the Indoraptor standing up on two feet, and as I'm standing on four feet as well. It also says uh, there are two other things <coughs> you can get. Sorry about the dog. Yeah. And then it says Indoraptor. And then it says... Uh, super Bill Glitch. I think that's just, um, uh, super posable in different languages again. And then it says www.jurassicworld.com, blah, 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 made in China. And then, just, you know, there's the information about the, uh, Jurassic World app thing there is. So, yeah, uh... I'll be back again with this open. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'll just open the side. I opened the side as well back because I didn't know how I was supposed to do it. So, um, I have one more piece of plastic, uh, tape to cut. Okay, I've just opened it, um, in an awkward way. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so I just took the other part of the box off. Excuse me, Stiggy and Blue. So, here there are, um, like, elastic bands holding them on, and then on the back, there's these things you have to do, so, pull that out. And then you just pull other things, I don't know if you are actually. Yeah, then you just pull that bit off. And you can just pull this off, and now the head's been released. And then, for this side as well, there's just an elastic band. Um, you can just simply pull it in front of his hand. Same for this side. That's already half the body released. Now, no more to do on the back, but for the legs. I think you're supposed to uh, cut it, but I'll do this. There we go, 
that's one leg, that's why you kind of move. Alright, well, I'll do the foot in a minute. And then, um, there we go, that one's free. Now I'm just going to get this foot off. And then I need to take the, um, leg out. I don't know how to do that. Oh, I don't know. We'll be back in a second once I'm done. Okay, I'm back. So you just have to, um, well, I just, like, pulled this bit off. And then you can get the tail out. Then, just to, uh, put it in, there's just, like, this stick thing on the end of the tail. I think you just put it in there. Just click, maybe. Once it's done. Uh, one second. <laughs> now I have to pause it again. There you go. So you should just uh, put it in and then like bend it up a bit and it should click. I guess so you can pose this around now. And same with the other part of the tail as well. So that's actually quite a good pose if you don't ask me. If you ask me. <laughs> I think they just turn the lights on. Um, there you go. I've made a bit of a mess. <laughs> I'll tie it up in a minute. So here it is. Uh, I can just get him to stand up. There you go. So these arms are super poseable. Like it says, he's like... Ah, no, don't look at me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you can make him sound like a human, I think. Nearly. Oh, that's freaky. <laughs> Just walk around the suit like that. <laughs> like, never mind. Uh, I think the end of is made to stand like that. So, let's look at its face first, uh, I'll quickly get him to stand, and then... Zoom in. Uh... Whoopsie daisy. Now focus! There you go. That's one scary face. So, its mouth opens quite wide. There you go. Well, that's the inside of its mouth. So it's black on the inside, and he's got quite a nice tongue. Actually, we don't know if it's a he or she. It might be he, I don't know. And then its teeth aren't sharp, because it's supposed to be, you know, a kid's toy. And then its eyes are red. You can barely actually see its pupil. Uh, if I can get a bit closer. There you go. There's people. It's got like red dots coming from its eye as well. Uh, just close your mouth. It's got quite a nice, like, slow kind of close. So it's not. I need to stop doing that because I might break the phone soon. <sighs> so, um,. Its skull has like this indentation thingy, you know, like like the T-Rex skull has like a hole here and then a hole like that is. That's how he is. And then there's its nostrils are there. There's the top of the head, not very interesting. The other side is pretty much the same, except... Uh, yeah. And then it has like these kind of quills that the, Indo that the um, Indominus Rex had. And that the raptors in Jurassic Park 3 had. It also has it on um, his back. So these are like a nice rubbery material. So they're quite poseable too. And then in its neck you can just move everything about. So it can look down, up, can side to side. Quite a poseable neck. And then it has um, the yellow line going all the way down it. It's not only yellow actually. If I 
Do you get the light on it? It's more like a golden colour and a yellow. You can't tell much difference on the camera, but... And if I turn the light off... There you go, you can see it, this bit's here, like... Oh, here's a bit darker, it's lighter on the bottom. Quite a nice touch. You can see... If you just move away... There you go. There's its chest. It's quite... Long, actually. Comes out here, just like after. And then, the arms... You can twist it all the way around, all the way back round. You can bend its elbows, kind of. It has these kind of like quill things on its arms as well. And then it's got its hands, you can pose its fingers a little bit. They're slightly padded fingers as well. And then you can move its shoulder up and down. And its wrist can move as well. You can do the same thing for the other arm. I think. Yeah, there you go. So you could just make him look like he's like, ha 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 ha. But, you know, a raptor wouldn't do that, obviously. Nope. <laughs> and then we have its legs. You can do its knee joint. You can do its, like, what bone, what, what would this be for a dinosaur? Kind of its thigh, I guess. You can move that ever so slightly. And then you can't move its toes, but you can move its, uh, like its. What part's that? Because that's its ankles there. I don't know, it's just like the foot connection. I don't, I don't know anything about the human body at all. Dinosaurs. There's its scan thingy. You need to focus. Focus, please. There you go. And then it's got its big raptor toe. Same for the other foot. And then, just like a quick view of the back. Black things are hard to review. I mean like black items, not anything else. And then it's tail. Of course we have this one long section that's quite big. So you can twist it and you can do it side to side like this. And then you can do a third section the same and it's all rubbery as well. So you can make it all wavy and things. So yeah. Let's try and see what positions we can get her get it into. Not tail up in the air, because that's just odd. Right. So it can just stand. Its arms look a bit awkward. I'll turn the light back on now. Then its head can be like that. Once again, it could be laughing. <laughs> or it could just be clapping. Clap, 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 clap. Even though it probably wouldn't. And then you can swish its, white, its tail about. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> and then it can just be doing stretches. <laughs> and then, of course. What we see it do quite a bit in the film is uh yeah, don't fall over please. There you go. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh leave a like if you did and subscribe too for more videos like this one. <laughs> and don't forget to check out the videos the other videos of course in the corner, which is Blue, it's, there you go, <laughs> and the Stiggy Moloch. Quick actual size comparison, actually. I think the Stiggy is supposed to be a bit smaller than Blue. That's why it was slightly. There you go. And I think the T Rex is bigger than both of these because we did have the T Rex at B and M, but they weren't there today. And then the why make it stand up. There you go. Quite huge. So, uh, see you next time. Bye.